Now, let me ask you one question about um, what, what do you think about the whole situation with Judy and, you know, some of the girls when they like to call you old and stuff like that? What do you what do you really feel about that? Because you look awesome. I, I have to say it's it. Not, it's not about that. It's about, see, that's that Hollywood shit that you're telling me that I'm 30 years old, so I'm old. I mean, I feel like I'm 12. Like, I can run 10 blocks right now and not get tired. It bothers me that, that people alone are saying that I'm... That it's not that I'm old. That I don't care about them saying I'm old. It's the fact that people in general think that 30 years old is old. What are you? Are you serious? 30 years old is old. That's the new 30 is the new 20, sweetheart. Wake up. 40 is the new 30. Like I mean, going to see these celebrities that 40 years old, they look like they're 20. I'm 30 years old. I look like I'm 17. I get ID'd all the time. Like please, sweetie, please call me old all you want. When you're 30, you're gonna look 90. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> when these bitches are 30, they're gonna look 90. I'm yeah, 30 and I'm 17, so thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, they're a little washed up, but um, we are with no stretch marks, and my body's right and tight. Can, can we up? see that? Cause yeah, you do look kind of good. Go to the gym. Damn, I don't do shit. Come I'm closer. Working. Come closer. Mm. Woo! I don't go to the That's gym. I don't work out nothing, baby. Nice. Nothing. This is nice. all natural. That's all so natural. hate on me because God made me beautiful, sweetheart. Don't hate me. Don't <laughs> hate me because you ain't me. Because I'm all that and bad it took. I'm the macaroni with the cheese and you're a hater. That's all I'm <laughs> I'm the macaroni. Yo, let me ask you a question, man. You you seem like the type of girl that's uh, very confident. Is yeah. that the way you are? like, Or is that your front? Like, do you really believe that you're the strongest girl in the world? Or... Like you, you know, you're the shit and all that. No, but we just want to know, it. as your fans, no. what it is. Like, what? I don't think I'm the strongest girl. I don't think I don't think I'm the smart. And I, if you read my interviews, I always said there's always gonna be someone smarter, faster, prettier, and stronger than you. What your goal is to be as strong as you can be, as pretty as you can be, as smart as you can be. Don't don't put yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people. I am who I am. Who I am. You are who you are. Be who you are, and that's it. Don't worry about what anybody thinks about you. Sometimes, yeah, I'm insecure. Of course, there's times I look in the mirror and I'm like, ill. But I get over it real fast because guess what? God made us this way. He made you who you are for a reason. So if you can't believe in yourself and love who you are, then you need, you need I don't know. You need so, Phil, can you, like, can you explain to us me, what your daily... Uh, yeah. I have people that? calling me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I got to say this. I have people writing me emails saying that because of me, they didn't commit suicide, okay? So if you guys could say whatever you want, because if a hundred people said they hate me and one person said I saved their life, I don't give a shit if 10 million people hate me. If one person, I saved one person's life, I'll feel good about myself, period. Can you tell us about the situation with you and Natalie and Jen then, um, on the last episode before the, uh, last night, well, I would like to say la last night. What well, was the real deal there. with that? Did you did you care about um sending Natalie home? What was really going this is on? The deal. Because at the end of the day, as much as me and Natalie got beef with each other, I still felt I still felt a certain type of way. Like Natalie and me, we worked hard, and we've actually because of us a lot of, a lot because of us. I'm not saying all because of us, but a lot because of us. The Bad Girls Club is where it is today. So yeah, at the end of the day, I did want my, Natalie to leave because I didn't want her to beat me, and that was it. I'm not letting her beat me. Period. She ain't gonna get the title for the bad and bad girl. Period. But the point is, when Jennifer and me talked and stuff like that, she, well, you guys gotta understand, behind the scenes, she's telling me that she's gonna split the money with me and blah blah blah. She told me a million times, I'm splitting the money with you. If you help me stay here, I will split the money with you. So when you see me flip out like that. It's because one minute she was saying one thing, the next minute she was saying the other. So when we got rid of Nat Natalie, I'm thinking, like, it's good. Me and Jen got an understanding. I'm helping her stay here because her brother's in a foster care. The only reason I let her stay there is because her brother's in foster care. I felt bad for her, so I let her stay there because I said, you know what? One day I'll get returned for this favor. And I let her stay there knowing damn well she could beat me very easily. So did you care if you were going to lose or win at the end when it came to her? Like nope. I didn't care who I lost to. I didn't care who I lost to who won, who won the money. I don't care about none of that. I just wanted to make it to them for myself, to show me, me, I could do it, to show Flo, like, you could do this, you can, I can't believe I did it, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about the money or none of that, you guys gotta understand, that's not what So, on the show, you said you were living at home, and, um, you know, what's going on with that? What's the whole situation with, you're, you're at home with the child? What's, what was that reason for you saying that when they asked you if you needed the money? Well, I mean, if you look around where I live, I live in Jersey, bitch. Shit ain't cheap. Taxes is expensive. So I live at home with my daughter and me wanting to get the money. Well, it's just been extra money for me to pay some 
taxes off or some bills. Like, you know, it's not the my life wasn't depending on the money, but you know, I, it would have been nice to just say, Eliana's already got a nice healthy stash put away, don't worry about it. But it would have been even nicer to say she's got a little more put away, you know what I'm saying? Because I would have put that all in the bank for her for when she turns 18 and wakes up and says, oh, I have, I have $300,000 in the bank? I'm good. Okay, um, how would you describe your personal life as far as, you know, I noticed that you have a, a family, you know, you're very family structured. When I saw you on Flow Gets Married, it seemed like you were calm. You weren't a bridezilla or nothing like that. So when you want to describe your personal life, well, you know, I think the fans really, really want to know what's up with your personal life as far as what are you doing on a daily basis? What is really, what is, what is Flo's whole you know, investment in her family world. Like, you know, what I have a very strong supportive family and I'm very close with my mother and everything I do, I wanna make it for my mama. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else, when you make it, you wanna buy your mama that big house and all that stuff. So the way I do, my everyday life is I wake up, I take care of my kid, I hustle, try to make some money, do this, do that, work, clean up, do some laundry. Same shit you do, except for a little bit more Hollywood. <laughs> So wait, are you saying you're a little more Hollywood or other people? Nah, it's not me. I'm not Hollywood. Everybody else is. See? My daughter's chilling. She got her toys. She's chilling. I'm not Hollywood. Everybody else is Hollywood. I'm, I'm normal. I am the only person that doesn't pay attention. So I don't even watch my own show. Not because I don't like it, but because that shit would drive me crazy. I don't have time for all that shit. My head would be like exploding right now if I've read. If I. Listen, I got a pizzeria. I got myself a pizzeria with the money I made and helped my mom buy this house with the money I made. Plus, we got a house in upstate and another one in New Jersey somewhere, Dorwood or whatever the fuck it is. I got three houses and a pizzeria. I got bills to pay, bro. You guys just don't understand that. I'm not, I'm not worried about money and stuff like that, but I got bills to pay and I'm a hustler. I am, I'm like, I'm the baby daddy over here. Me, I'm the daddy. I'm daddy, I bring home the bacon, so you better wake up and smoke the coffee because I'm not this other girl sitting around waiting for some man to take care of her. Um, is there anything you want to tell people? Um, because I, I really honestly, like, mm. I, I know you in one point of view, which is Flo is just Flo who something. she is. But as far as you losing control and all that, what really ticks you? What makes you get that way? Okay. As far as me losing control and being unstable and all that, you know, everybody's got a piece of me inside of them, which is why people like me, because you have a piece of flow inside of you. Everybody's got a little crazy hidden in them. But when you see me go crazy like that, if you as a human being can't understand that there was something much bigger than what they show on television there going on, why would I get that upset over something so, in the, like, stupid? I mean, think about it. I have a lot more going on in my brain and you guys know about. So when I'm on that show and you see those little me bugging out, just best believe Flo has got, it took me a lot to get to that point. It was just like a build up, build up, build up, and then boom. But they're not gonna show me building up to it. They're gonna show the best part of it, which is me flipping out. I am completely stable, obviously, because if I was a fucking psychopath like that, by now, I think I'm 30 years old, I think I'd be locked up somewhere in Penn Century. But the point is, I want everybody out there who's, who hates me for no reason right now, thinks I'm a liar and all this and this and I'm messed up. But you really didn't deny that you because, lied. Exactly. You really, like, yeah. I didn't deny anything. I said, look, I'm lying my ass off just to get through this game. It's a game. I'm playing the game and that's that. I played the game the smartest I knew how to play. If you were there, you would do what you have to do. Everybody does what they have to As do. As a personal BGC fan myself, I've seen every episode and I've seen these girls on their own episodes. I know that you don't watch the show. I know that for a fact. Um, You didn't watch it before you even applied to it. All I, all I know is... When I watch this show, these girls backstab their own, you know, members of their season, as Natalie did with you on your season. I just didn't understand why you wanted to build a good relationship with Natalie when Natalie made you leave the bad girl's house, destroying your reputation you know, as I, in a person who loves question. people. I'm going to tell you why, because I am the type of person, I, I show people, I show people that sometimes in life, you, you need to just forgive and forget, like move on with yourself. Sometimes in life, you got to be like... I don't care if she played me. I'm going to show her what it is to be a good person. So when you show someone what it is to be a good person, they get confused. Like, 
wait a minute. And I could have easily got rid of Natalie the first day I was there. Everybody was like, Flo, what should we do? You guys don't understand. I was like, God in that house, sweetheart. They were all like, what should I do, Flo, Flo? What should we do? What should we do? They don't show everybody coming around in a circle, gathering around, staring at me like a kid, like a puppy. What should we do with Natalie? I said, keep her there. She was there. I said, leave. She would have been So left. do you feel that uh, the girls that made it at the end with you are there because of you? The girls that made, everybody that made it at the end made it there to the end because of moi. Okay? As much as everybody wants to think they control the game, they're the star. I don't care about being the star. I didn't care about none of that. I naturally am a leader, sweetheart. Naturally. It comes with the territory, with all of this. So everything that happened there, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. I wasn't trying to be the star, the shadow. No, bitch. I, I was. I know, yeah. Well, I noticed that um, Oxygen always kind of... Um Revolves you somehow. An asshole. Yeah, yeah honestly, and and but what do you think that's about? You that's think? about oxygen knows oxygen oxygen knows what ratings what the ratings gonna be, and my personality is so off the wall that oxygen loves it. And as much as they're using me to to make me look like an asshole, whatever they want to do, they know that's where the ratings come in. People don't want to see normal. People don't want to see nice. People don't want to see. Sweet. That's true because I, I watch a lot of shows out there. Nobody wants to see positive shit. Yeah, Nobody I kind of see anything time. positive. Everybody wants to see everybody failing and all that, and that's bullshit, yo. Grow up, yo. I help help your neighbor. Help thy neighbor. You know, like it says in the Bible, help thy neighbor. Do it. Help them. Do, do you need something? You need sugar? What do you um, need? Um, one last question that I want to address. A lot of people want to know why did you swear on your daughter? What was that? What was what was your explanation? Hold up. First of all, I swear on my daughter, and I told the truth when I was swearing on my daughter. So however that looked to you... How did you tell the truth? If I said I swear on my daughter, you were going to stay here, whoever it was, I kept them there. So if they made it look a certain way, if I told somebody, like the twins, I swore on my daughter to the twins, and I said I swear on my daughter, I'm keeping... But people think you swore to Julie. No. I swore to my daughter to... I was looking at the twins when I said that. Not Julie. I looked totally like... Julie was sitting here, the twins were here, and I said... I swear on my daughter, you're gonna be here until the end. And I told the twins they're gonna be there to the end, and they were. They didn't understand when I was. I told them a million times when I'm talking to you, and Julie's there. I'm only really talking to you. All Julie's right. Julie's just there all the time, so I can't do anything. So let's so close that this interview up, and um, just let me know if there's anything you want to say as far as who Flo is, or or pretty much what it's all about. What have you always had a beautiful home? No, have you listen, always had listen, the life guys, that you have at this time? I'm going to explain something to you right now, okay? I don't know how everybody else is, but I came from I came from the same place as you came from. I started at the bottom, now I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, I still, even when I make it all the way to the top, and everybody knows, everybody looks at me and says, you made it, you made it. I still don't see that I made it. I'm a Virgo, I'm flow, and I will never be satisfied with what I have. I will always want more, and not materialistic more, stability more. I'm not, I didn't grow up like this, well off, or none of that. I didn't grow up none of that way. I've been struggling since I was a little kid, and I busted my ass to get to this fucking point. Why do you think all of this is always angry? Because I've been through hell and back to get to where I gotta get. I have to prove myself every day, not only to my fans, but my family and my friends and everybody. I have people that love me and support me, and I'm trying to be somebody in this world. And not just somebody from the bad girls club. I wanna make a fucking difference. I will be the next Mother Teresa, whether anybody likes it or not. I'm gonna be the ghetto Mother Teresa. And I don't mean I'm gonna help the ghetto, I mean I'm ghetto. And you I'm say that Teresa. a lot. What do you mean when you say ghetto Mother Teresa? I'm because... ghetto and I'm gonna be like Mother Teresa. I'm ghetto as hell, and I'm like, yo, what's good? Use some bread here, hold it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so are you saying it. you wanna give to people that are less fortunate? I wanna give to people who grew up like me. We weren't less fortunate, but we struggled, you know? People like me, different races, different cultures, um, you know, go to Staten Island, help the hood, help Stapleton, help help the people that nobody's paying attention to. Do you understand what I'm saying? Help those people. Like when I have little fundraisers, go look at my track record, sweetheart. Charity, 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 charity. I've done hundreds of charities for free with no problem and raised plenty of money for people, Jamaican kids, white kids, Albanian kids, everybody. And I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. No matter what, I have I have a proof, a point to prove in this world, and it's that God put me here to be one of his soldiers, and I'm gonna be a soldier and fight for you guys. He put me here to suffer for you guys, and I'm doing it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. So are you upset that you didn't win the hundred thousand? I'm not gonna. No, I'm not upset that I didn't win the hundred thousand dollars. I'm very happy that I didn't win the hundred thousand dollars actually. 
oh, what I want that hundred thousand dollars. My family knows I got money. I, I, my family knows I got money saved up. So if I would have won that hundred thousand dollars, I'm like, yo, let me get some of that. Let me get some of that. And I would have just give that shit up. You know what I'm saying? What's the matter, Boozy? Are you okay to love my life? So what would you say to the people that, that say you're not a good mom or whatever the case? What, what, let's end this interview with that, yeah. Eliana, am I a good mom? Sleep. Am I a good mom? Sleep. Yes, yeah, sleep. Sleep. Am I a good mommy? Am I a good mom? Give me a kiss if I'm a good mom. No, don't let her give you a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Yeah, she's a good mom. So, I mean, I, I know your relationship with your Please, daughter. I have people and stop know... me that don't even know me in the streets, and I'll be in a store, and this old lady goes to me, let me just tell you something. You have to be the best mother I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, why? She's like, you're so attentive to your daughter. I mean, people, girls see me that have children, and they see me around my kid, and they're like, Flo, you're too nice to your kid. Like, you're too good to her. Like, you need to relax. When I had a kid, my, I let my kid sit in front of the TV for hours. Not me, bitch. My daughter's a genius. She's two years old, and she's on the she's on the thinking level of a four year old. We are. She's on a think. The doctor said, doctor. The doctor said my daughter's on a four year old thinking level, and she's two years old. She's the size of a three year old. I mean, come on, people. I mean, come on, come on. She's eating good. She's living good. She's chilling. Look what. She, man, shut up, man. She got like four different rooms. One word, dad. One here. She got one room over there. One over there waiting everywhere for her. There's a jacuzzi, her own jacuzzi upstairs. She's got two pools outside, a swing set. It's not about material stuff, but at the same time, my daughter's well taken care of. She's mad independent. She does everything herself. I don't even need to, like, when I'm around her, she's just like, I'm oh, good. Mom deuces here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to Toys R Us for her birthday and asked the, asked the, register, the lady at the register what I did. I went crazy up in there. Give me that, 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 that. And she, everything she wanted, she got. You know why? Because I worked this hard for this little thing right here to have everything that I didn't have growing up. And I did have enough growing up, but I wanted more, and I still want more. And she will have everything I was de I was denied growing up. And I was I was, I was was never denied anything because I worked hard for Bro, but people need to understand, since I was 14 years old, I was working, busting my ass. I, I didn't even have to work at those times. My mom would've took care of me. I worked in delis. I worked anywhere I could work. Typing, offices, bounty hunter, massage therapist, nails, waxing. I did it all. I worked, did everything I did. Before I tried television, I tried school, everything. I'm talking about everything. Did, did you ever go to, to college? Yep, I went to college. I went, I went to but college. You I didn't took, finish college, I took though, a right? nursing course. I went to college. I have, I almost, almost have a degree in physical therapy. I have everything. I, I would have been a doctor or something if I wasn't on, on Bagger's Club. I just don't like the nine to five corporate world place. I just, it doesn't go for me. I like to be the boss. I like to watch myself on TV. It look, feels good, you know what I'm saying? I just, it's just me and television. When I get around a camera, I get mad hyper and people think like, what's she doing? Was she drink alcohol? Was she smoke? No, that's me because the camera is my drug. That's my drug of choice, the camera right there. I love the camera. Love it. I come alive when the camera's next to me. I feel like I just took a million ecstasy pills and I'm like, that's how I get when the cameras come.